with inverse functions, what we're talking about is uh, we need some background knowledge. So the word inverse, you've heard of inverse before. Uh, what you're talking about in terms of inverse is inverse operations. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to verify inverse functions. So looking at an example, I'll give you a couple uh, functions here. f of x is equal to 3x plus 2. And g of x is equal to uh, x minus 2 divided by 3. So first thing we can do to verify inverse functions is we can actually find a composite of those two functions. So f of g of x and g of f of x. Now to prove that inverse functions are actually, or two functions are inverses, both of those have to be equal to x. So we'll go ahead and find those two things. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find f of g of x which as we know is going to be f of g of x. So we're going to do is we're basically taking our g function and we're going to plug it into our f function. Our f function is telling us to multiply by 3 and then to add 2. So we get x minus 2 divided by 3. When you multiply those things together, you should be able to see that the 3's will cancel and it's going to leave us x minus 2 plus 2. So when you combine like terms, you get the value of x. That's only half of what we need to do. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and figure out uh, g of f of x. And what that means is we're going to take our f function and we're going to plug it into our g function. We get uh, 3x plus 2. And we're going to subtract it by 2 and then divide it by 3. Well, we can distribute the coefficient here with parentheses. So it'll give us 3x plus 2 minus 2 divided by 3, which of course will give us 3x divided by 3 give us a value of x. So because both of these are equal to x, that basically proves that our uh, two functions are inverses of each other. And it should make sense because if you go back and look at the original function, you can see x is being multiplied by 3 and added by 2, and here it's being subtracted by 2 and divided by 3. 